What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We are back from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And before I get started with this video, and it's gonna be a great one, I gotta give a huge shout out to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. Now, if you're wondering what Helix Sleep is, they make premium mattresses and beddings, customized to fit your needs, and they're shipped conveniently right to your door. So for most of y'all that follow along a lot, you know I just bought a hunting camp in Georgia, and I've been redoing it. Well, if you're wondering why I have a mattress right here in a box, that's for my camp in Georgia that I haven't got to yet, but I do have a new mattress in my bedroom that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. It's the most comfortable thing in the world. Now, when it comes to sleeping, everybody's different, and Helix knows that. That's why they came up with the sleep test quiz. You go online, fill out your stuff, put in your information, and they will tell you which mattress best fits you. With me, it's the Helix Midnight Lux, and this thing has changed the game. When I'm up all night long editing, and I only get a couple hours of sleep. As you can see, this is my bed. I need a good mattress, and that's why I chose Helix. Now, I've actually been gone for the last three days, and I can tell you, the bed in Jackson Hole was not as comfortable as this Helix. You melt into this thing. With all that being said, one of the intimidating things about shopping for mattresses is how are you gonna get it home, because they are so big. This is my mattress. It's actually a king size mattress for my hunting camp in Georgia. It's inside this box, vacuum sealed. I haven't opened it yet because I wanna be able to conveniently put it in the back of my truck, drive five hours, take it into the room, and then open it. It expands, doesn't take very long. And then just like here at home, at hunting camp in Georgia, I'll be sleeping like a baby. So if you're like me and you need a new mattress or you just want a new mattress, go to helixsleep.com slash blue game and get up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. You literally can't beat that. You don't even have to go get it. Again, y'all head to helixsleep.com slash blue game. And just like that, we're out here at hunting camp in Ona, Florida. And boy, let me tell you what, we've been having a hard run at it. Luke, what are you doing over here? Getting firewood. Why is everything so wet? We had a tropical storm. <laughs> That's a fact. You guys, we left our house a day and a half ago to come here to our camp. Now the camp that I needed the mattress for is in Georgia. This is our actual hunting camp that we come to all the time. We headed this away two days ago. It started raining yesterday at like one o'clock and hasn't stopped until this morning. We did miss a buck and we've missed two hogs so we have nothing to show for yet. But I do have some awesome footage from Jackson Hole and we're still here for like another day and a half. So we're gonna get something in this video. What are you two doing? We're cleaning out my uh, 22 long rifle. Why are you cleaning it for? Because it's We've shot dirty. probably over 2,000 rounds to it. No, Today? Time. No, we haven't, we haven't missed that many people. They've got targets all up there, all out there in the driveway because we've been sitting under here in this monsoon of a rain. What's the deal with this right here? Luke wanted to mount a squirrel tail, so that's I just put that's some. Sack. Did y'all get a squirrel this morning? Yeah, yeah, it's in the cooler. cooler. Is he whole? Uh, I don't uh, know about that. You've already cleaned him. Uh, no. Let's just say we don't need to gut him. <laughs> yeah, oh God, I don't even want to say that. We need smell. to get to cooking breakfast though, folks at home. I got, I went to one of my favorite stores in Wachula, Florida, the other day, and got us some stuff for breakfast yeah, and some good. stuff for lunch. We got some fresh tortillas that they sell there and we got some eggs. So before we cook breakfast, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Jackson Hole, Wyoming trip. I've always wanted to go there. I was, I, my parents took me there when I was like eight. I've always wanted to go back. So just, I don't know, a month ago, I just randomly planned a trip. We went out and we wanted to ski, but we've never skied before. Oh my goodness. Right now, I think I have two broke ribs and it's been like a week and they're still killing me. I've got one clip. I'm gonna show you more about the Jackson Hole trip in the next video. But right now I wanna show you the funniest clip to me of the entire trip. It's not the best clip, it's the funniest clip. It's Jake and I coming down the slope. Y'all just watch this. Jake, we're getting past my girls. Yeah, those, those sticks are All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Luke, you did a good job. Who cares? I've wrecked every second. Uh oh. Good job, Jake. Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Jake. <laughs> oh, he went all the way down. 
This is not our sport, folks at home. This is not our sport. I got frostbite on my butt. Jake, this we're not cut out for this. Let's try this again. I don't know how to slow down is the thing. All right, we're going. We're gonna go slower. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is terrible. All right, your other boot, your right shoe's not in it all the way. Jake, we're probably the worst skiers on the mountain. You ready? Oh. Oh. I didn't crash. Oh boy, here comes Luke. Luke, come this way! Don't hit that person! Slow down, Luke! Slow down, Luke! Slow! Push your knees! Slow! You might want to... <laughs> Luke, you did an amazing job! On three, you ready? Alright, oh boy. That was pretty cool. I didn't even crash. And I'm holding on to a camera too. Here he comes, this is Jake right here. Come on boy, you're doing good. Come on, you're doing good. You're doing perfect, Jake. Straighten your toes, don't break so much. Oh, what just happened there? Hold on, Jake, I gotta get on this ramp. All right, here I come. All right, Jake, we're entering traffic. Come on. <laughs> I just ate it. Where you at, Jake? Did he already go by? Oh, here he comes. Son, this is where it's gonna get bad because we gotta get around people. There you go. You what? You're, you're switching the skis. Jake, I, I burned my butt. Yeah. Really bad. Oh, there's Luke right there. Okay. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, I didn't see you. Are you ready for this last push? I think so. I don't think I am, but here we go. I can get the, the skiing part, but I can't get the... Okay, now I'm getting it. Oh. Why'd you crash? Alright, let's concentrate. We're already here at the end. Oh. I made it. We made it, Jake! How about that crash, Jake? That was a bad crash, but wait till you see some more footage. Yeah, I'm telling you. Let I me see. I see my neck doing it. Is the gun clean now? Oh, yeah. It's so it's much smooth? Cleaner. So much cleaner. We're going to do some test shots. We got to cook some breakfast, folks.
If you guys have never tried Trezo, this stuff right here is the bomb diggity. Mixed with some scrambled eggs. Oh yeah. Now that was just a teaser of Jackson Hole. I've got a ton of really good footage, but I'm headed to the Keys where I'm gonna show you the rest of it. I want it to be tropical, sunny, and clear when I'm showing you this freezing cold footage of Jackson Hole. Just something that stuck in my head that I wanna do. So once it's about halfway cooked, I add some onions. Get that one little piece out. Stir this up and let them onions get all up in that juice. I wish y'all could smell this. So all I got now is about five eggs that I scrambled up in this pot. Come in here and show them what that looks like. I put all the meat, the sausage, and the onions to the side. I'm gonna let these eggs cook until they're almost done. In the meantime, I'm gonna take some of these fresh tortillas, put them on this grill and get them hot. Then we're gonna go out there and show you Jake and Tarzan shooting that gun and see if them cleaning it actually worked. Now with these tortillas, you want to keep them flipping. You don't want them to sit on that open fire for very long. Does that smell good, Jake? Really good. But do you think the gun is going to work? I think so. It was, we cleaned it a lot. Oh yeah, this is going to be good right here. Look at this, folks. You just stir it all up. Get in here close, Jake, and show them what it looks like up close. It looks gummy at first. Just wait till it all is done, though. I want to turn the fire down about as low as I can get it, right there. Tortilla's looking good. What's Jake doing? Luke's... I said Jake. Luke's already got him a fire built out of the fire pit. That kid refuses to follow the crowd. He has to have his own fire outside of the fire pit. Luke, what's the deal with you always having to have your own fire outside of the fire pit? Because you make better ones. Because you make, what? Okay, the tortillas are done. The trezo is done. Tarzan, does it look good? Oh yeah, it's delicious. All right, go get y'all some plates. Luke, can we talk about your squirrel tail? Okay. Are you hanging this in your room? At your mom's house, right? I'll put in your bed liver. She specifically <laughs> told me that all the high mounts are staying with you. I don't know why all the nasty dead animals got to come to my house. <laughs> Ooh. That's a breakfast for champions. Come on, Mr. Josh. Breakfast is served. For those of y'all that don't know, this is Tarzan. He's like my adopted son. Well, there's his real dad. He, he does have an actual dad, but he's got, they've got like a little football team at their house. They got so many kids. So normally he's there or off work and he joined us at camp today. Howdy. Get you some of that right there. Man, that's good. It's good? Yeah, Probably hot. You want some, Luke? Or you want some donuts? Come on while they're eating and go show us your fire. Mm. I can see you did a good job tying your shoes this morning. See, this is a fire pit. This is where Luke always builds his own fire. Whoa, 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 what, what, what are we doing with the lighter fluid? Did you use the high C punch to get it going or what? High C punch? You can add a little bit more lighter fluid and that's it. All right, go. Go take that and put it up on the table. So if you're wondering what this video is all about, it's just us living our life. I'm gonna show the kids shooting their guns. We're gonna go cut some lighter knot, which unless you're from South Florida, you probably don't even know what it is. It's a really fast, hot burning wood that is incredible for fires, except for you can't cook on it. I'm gonna show you some of that. We're gonna hopefully kill a hog. And if we don't get a hog, we'll be back in Stewart fishing for something. This is just a random, good long video of what we do on any given day. Just wrapped up breakfast, got everybody fed, and now the kids want to shoot their guns and they're not taking no for an answer. J uh, Luke's up to bat first with his 22 Magnum. All right, what are you aiming at, Luke? I'm aiming... Aim, aim at one of the bottom Mountain Dew cans. That's what I was aiming at. All right, shoot when you're ready. 
Oh yeah, you hit it. Oh my goodness, you exploded it. Oh, you hit that can, good. All right, let the boys shoot their 22. Leave that right here to where it's safe. Oh, that gun's loud. So the gun that Luke just shot was a 22 Magnum. Jake and Abram got their little 22 that's been giving them a fit, so they took it apart and cleaned it. We're gonna see how it shoots. So I'm going to leave them be and let them shoot a couple hundred times. They've got a whole box of bullets. That's how I grew up, right there in hunting camp. Wherever we were, we always had 22s or 410s. I'm going to take it right now to a squirrel hunt that we did this morning. We were riding. We weren't really hunting. The boys were here at camp squirrel hunting. Josh and I were going to go fill feeders. We found us one squirrel, and that's all we needed because we just need one squirrel to cook. Y'all watch this. Josh and I are filling feeders this morning. The boys are squirrel hunting and they said they haven't seen any. We've seen two in the last two minutes. Where's he at, Redneck? Oh, I see him. Oh, he's on the wrong side of the dang tree. We can't afford him to jump. He already jumped three and one. that time though we got squirrel for dinner you didn't see squirrel success. Redneck, you big squirrel hunter, you. All right, let's go fill some feeders. Hey boys, how does it feel that y'all uh, squirrel hunted five times as long as me and only killed one and I've killed one? We're going squirrel hunting and we're going to cut a piece of lighter knot right now. I want to show you guys what this wood is because it's amazing. Especially coming home from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, where it was so cold and seeing all the wood that they had piled up in front of their houses. Bro, if I could take a load of lighter knot up there, you could sell it for no telling how much just because it burns so hot. So if you're wondering why we have a pillow on here, that just keeps these gun barrels from bouncing. Gives them a little bit of stability. Stability, And if Josh sees something, he can move that pillow over and use it for a rest. Y'all ready to go get fire? Are you chopping down the firewood with that? Redneck, are you ready? Yep. Got chainsaw. This is my Can-Am side-by-side. Probably one of the best purchases I've ever made. Not because of the brand, but because it gets us around out here all over the place. And it's wet right now. What's up, Mr. James? What's up, man? We're going to get firewood. We'll gotcha. be back. All right, get, get me some extra. Okie doke. feel it so right here is a perfectly good live pine tree this is a piece what we call a lighter knot Ooh, that's actually better than i thought it was 
this one will do whenever you're cutting these things off and you're in the woods you want to cut them down low if you can't cut them down low cut them up high so when you're riding through here on the swamp but you don't hit them so i'm going to actually cut this one off about right here in case mr trevor or anybody's riding around on their buggy they don't mistake it for just something down low in the bushes they'll know it because you hit this with your swamp buggy and it's stopping you <laughs> I felt that when I was cutting it. Come in here close. If it was good, if it was real good light or not, this would be really, really red and almost sticky. This will burn okay, but it's not really good light or not. Huh. You can see right here. This is just an old rotten piece of wood. We're going to keep on going and try to find the right one. This won't burn. It will burn. It'll burn like that. That's it right there, come on. This will burn like your average wood. Let's go see this one over here. I think this will be much better. If you guys could only feel how bad my ribs hurt right now from crashing when I was snowboarding. <laughs> Mediocre better than the last one. If this was a good piece of light or not, I would struggle to pick up that piece. We'll take that piece with us, but we're going to keep going and try to find the best piece of light or not we can find. All right, I'm almost certain this is the one we want. <laughs> about light or not this is actually what they used to make a lot of dynamite out of in the late or like the late 50s early 60s they used to mine it come in here close look how red that is all right boys time for y'all to get to work come on look get over here
This stuff will also devastate a chainsaw blade. It smells like straight turpentine. Now you could cut that live pine tree down right there and you couldn't start it with gasoline. This part of that live tree. You just wait till you see how hot this stuff gets. All right, we're gonna do a bunch of this. We'll see y'all back in camp. So we got two pieces here. We got the whole back of the side-by-side -side full. I'm gonna split it and show you just how good this stuff burns. Now, let me tell you, the crash that I haven't showed you yet from Jackson Hole, it's because I don't have it. The third run down, I ended up falling down the wrong, like, I, I wasn't on the bunny slope anymore. I was on the big boy slope. And I crashed, and I know I broke a couple ribs right here, and it is absolutely killing me. So don't judge right now. <laughs> that hurts so bad. You take these little splinters like this, and Josh and I were just talking on the way back. They sell this stuff for so much money. And to be honest with you, this isn't even great, great light or not. I know on the other side last year that we were on, so this piece that we're on right now is 3,500 acres. Right next to it is another 3,500 acres. And that's what we were on last year. It had, for some reason, it was a lot drier. Look at that, come in here close. I just barely, Jay, get a piece of that oak. I just stuck it on there for just a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some, reg just any piece of it, bring it over here. This is cut and dried oak. Let me have the piece Tarzan has because it's already split and they'll be able to see better. I'm gonna lay that right there. That's cut and dried oak. This is light or not. And that piece is already so hot you gotta back up. I just stuck it in the ashes. This piece is the same way. It's already stuck in the ashes. If you live up north and you can ever get a hold of some of this, you just splinter it. Like a little chunk like this right here will start a fire so good. I can actually split this again. If my chest doesn't start getting better by tomorrow, my butt's going to the doctor because it feels like I'm having a heart attack right now. Oh, I'm just glad it's ribs that are up by my heart, not lower ones where I can't breathe. Watch how fast this fire gets going. You notice this one's not even smoking yet. In less than five minutes, you will have to stand back quite a bit when this light or not gets going. And that piece of oak's not even, it ain't even thinking about it yet. So if you're still wondering what light or not is, it's actually petrified pine. The tree soaks up all the sap all the way out of its roots and up into the core of the tree. And then it dies and the sap gets stuck. In a couple minutes, once this gets going good, I'll show you again, the sap will start bubbling out the end. Now, you wouldn't want to burn huge chunks of this in your fireplace at home because it, it burns off a really black, sticky sap. But in a fire pit or just getting your fire started at home, little chunks like this right here are absolutely amazing. Look, we ain't even joking. Show them this side. This piece hasn't even started smoking yet. That's all it's done. And I haven't cut the clip. Normally I would have already cut the clip a bunch of times. That's why we harvest light or not here in Florida. Y'all ready for lunch? Okay. I've got y'all some authentic Mexican steak that I got from the place in Huachula and we're gonna make some amazing tacos. We had us some chorizo for breakfast. The tacos and squirrel that we're gonna cook for lunch is the main ingredient. What do you want me to do? Um, there's a field over there with a lot of bones and I found two hog jaws. You want me to go with you? Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to find a field full of bones that apparently Jake or uh, Luke knows where it's at. I always get my kids' names mixed up. If you're wondering why in this video you can hear the wind a little bit more, my GoPro with my mic on it's at the house. It's been acting up like crazy, so I'm just using a raw GoPro right now. Hopefully it's doing the trick and isn't too loud. There's an old skull or something. When we're done looking at that tree, let's go look in that field over there. There's a lot of bones. Look at this. Oh, jeez. He must have got tied up in a rope and died right there. I don't know. No, that's Mr. James Buck. He he did a skull mount like that, and that's his bottom jaw. Look at that. Right there, that's something. That's crazy. All right, let's go to the tree you wanted to show me. Which way is it? I think it's this way. You got confused. That's the field. 
I know this isn't your typical video. This is just what we do on an average day when we're out here. It's the middle of the day, we can't hunt. So we go cut uh, firewood, we cook lunch. We just do random fun things with the kids. That's how you get them involved. But I can tell you in a couple days, I'm leaving for the Keys for like eight days and I'm gonna film the entire time we're there. We are gonna unleash some really good fishing videos that I've wanted to do forever. The kids are going to Georgia with their mom for seven days, so I have seven days scot-free to fish as hard as I want, and that's what I'm about to do. And there's gonna be probably seven videos back to back, all different, but all really good. Where did all these bones come from? I don't know. It looks like something like a mass extinction happened here. What do you have? A little cow skull. Oh my goodness. What is this cactus right here? A little cactus? What is this? That's a very interesting bone. Here, come here, let me see. Is it hard? Yeah. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with him right here looking at all these bones and we're gonna head back and cook an amazing lunch to end the day. Just as I turned the camera off, I looked over in the woods and saw this. Walked over there, nice buck. I think I had him on camera, I'm not sure how he died. I'm not sure if somebody killed him that I don't know of, but I just found his head. I'm gonna hang it up on the porch and now we're gonna go cook lunch because I am starving. Wow, look at the teeth on that one. Hold it up to the camera. Look at that. Can we go eat lunch now? Mm -hmm. Put it in the back. I found a deer skull too, a good one. Where? It's in the back. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's a cool one. Fun fact about Redneck, he loves to run in front of this thing. Watch him when he, all he wants to do is beat me too. He doesn't care where I'm going. Hang on, Luke. Yeah, redneck can flat out run. Now it's been about 15 minutes since I lit it. The oak is barely burning. That's the light or not, and that stuff is hot. What you doing, getting some splinters? Oh, you're making, what is that, a scorpion? Yeah. I just saw him. Scorpion. Look at him right there. Look at that. Oh, guys, it's a scorpion. Try to get him on something high contact. I thought they were only in Texas. That joker would hurt you, I guarantee you. Those pinchers will get you. There you go, look at that. <laughs> Friend, I can do not even get close Make to sure that. you stomp him when you're done. Nasty little booger. You getting some splinters for your house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Hey, he's trying to stab me with his finger. Tarzan, you need to help me cook lunch. All right. You and Jake. Right. So go wash y'all's hands. Lord knows you haven't showered in two days and I know you haven't washed your hands. All right, folks, we are starving. This is some, I don't know what cut of meat it is, but it's already pre-marinated from this place in Wachula and it's the most amazing thing ever. Some kind of like skirt steak, a flank steak or something like that. But look right there on that cutting board what Jake and Tarzan have cleaned up for us. Here's the question is what happened to the rest of the squirrel? So we think it blew up into bits when we shot it with the 22 Magnum. All right, so the boys want to cook their squirrel. We can't use a squirrel thumbnail, and we can't call it a squirrel video unless we clean some squirrel. And they've got it right there. We're not going to season it in anything but this right here. So I'm going to put the rest of this meat on, and we're going to dip it in this juice. I asked them why this meat's so red, and it's red chili dyes, what they told me. I don't know if that's just for looks or for flavor or for what. If you are in anywhere in the Wachula area, just north of the Walmart, on the opposite side of the road is this little, I think, you know, Spanish style meat market. Look at these two hams. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take them and just put them in this marinade. Don't forget about the heart. No, I'm gonna do something special with the heart. We're gonna just lay them on the grill. Where'd my little stick go? Right here, I got it. Look at this little heart. We got us a little palm frond stick. We're gonna dip it right here in the marinade. We're just gonna lay it somewhere on here where there's some heat. Just like that. Shouldn't take long to cook. Only because 
I always make everybody else eat the weird stuff on my channel. Do y'all want me to try it? Yeah. You want me to tell you how it is? I need to dip it in some marinade. Tasted actually pretty good, like I would eat a bunch of them. It took a second for those flavors to hit my tongue, but it tasted just like really good deer meat. Not bad at all. Actually, I'm surprised. So this 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 is beef, it's not pork. I thought the first couple times I bought it was pork, and then I got to thinking how dumb I was, because you can tell by the texture it's not. It doesn't take long to cook. Get in here close and show them what it looks like up here. Oh, that's gonna be good. Put some onions on here. I dipped them on top of some of the meat just to get that marinade. Uh, Josh is cutting some avocado. We're about to be eating like kings. Last to come off the grill is a squirrel. We already got our meat out, cut up, got our onions cut up. Here, Jake. You want any onions? No, thank you. Just meat? And avocado. Oh, and avocado. Here, don't go nowhere. You got your squirrel leg. Here's your squirrel leg. You want onions? Yeah. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Josh, the man with the plan. Thanks, sir. Oh, yeah. Luke, are you eating or are you just gonna play with your dinosaur bones? In a minute? Oh, you're going with the fresh avocado? Yep. Some lemon? Yep. I did the ultimate sin yesterday. So I got salsa verde, but I had it in a whole nother to-go thing and I threw it away. Salsa verde is like my favorite thing in the world, so. Luckily, this meat's marinated. Are you going with the squirrel first? Come on, yeah. let's see. It's gonna be tough and chewy because squirrel can be that, especially when grilled. It's got good flavor though. Tastes like yeah. grilled chicken. It's just really, really tough. Yeah, tastes like grilled chicken. What about that taco though? It's awesome, man. Did you like that store yesterday? I wish that I knew the name awesome. of it. Yeah, I can even remember. It was awesome. It's like the best store ever. Yeah, ever. So if you're anywhere near Wachula, Florida, there's a Walmart in Wachula, Florida. Just a little bit north of Walmart, there's a Circle K on the opposite side of the road. Right next to the Circle K is this store that we're talking about. It's a little like, I hate to use the word Mexican because so many people are sensitive and I don't know if that's the right word, but I would naturally say it's a Mexican grocery store because everything they serve in there, am I wrong? Yep. Everything in there is Mexican style food. They have spices, pinatas, Mexican desserts, like the most amazing food in this place. From the outside looking in, it just looks like a little store. But when you walk in, this place has everything you can imagine. And every time we come to camp, we get this style of food. And they have all different cuts of steaks and marinades. But this particular one, I'm stealing a piece off of his, is so good. Luke, come here. Tell me if this is any good. Look at his mouth, boys. Come here and turn to sun. I know why he's not eating. What? What's all the white powder on your face? Donut. Oh, yeah. I just looked over here. This is why he's not wanting to eat lunch. I get it now. What do you want to do the rest of the evening? Oh, it's fun. Blast squirrels. Blast squirrels. What do y'all want to do? I want to go. I want to go try to shoot a deer. I wish we could have had it on film. Josh's first attempt at a deer. So, yesterday, he put on a garbage bag because I had one frog tog suit, but I didn't have another frog togs, the rain jackets that you see us use. And we struck out. We were tired of sitting here. It was pouring down rain. He's not big into hunting. He's been around the military stuff his whole life, but not into hunting. We ride, and out of nowhere, a big boar hog jumped up, and I missed him. In my defense, my gun had a dud. My gun didn't go off, I had a dud. Like the biggest idiot in the world, I picked that gun out of, I, I ejected it trying to get another one in there and then I grabbed that bullet, I'm like, oh, there was nothing wrong with the bullet, I put it back in my gun. We come around a corner and there's a buck standing there, slam on brakes, turn the side by side off, he shoots and misses, I'm like, all right, I'm next up to bat and I was dead on him, Pa! Nope, the gun said click. <laughs> I put the dud back in the gun and then he missed the second time and we had to come back to camp and face these boys with our tail tucked between our legs. Yep. It was embarrassing. So we have nothing to show for other than one squirrel you saw me shoot earlier. But that's it for this video. 
don't get discouraged because I haven't posted very much. I'm telling you here in about three or four days, I'm going to start posting maybe even once a day. I've got a bunch of big stuff coming. I've just been spending some time with the kids. We traveled to a place I've never been. It was super cold. The GoPros didn't like it. I just need to take a little bit of time off mentally. We're fixing to come back stronger than ever. And these boys will be a part of it, but not for the first seven days because they're going, where are you going, Georgia, North Georgia? Uh, Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge Mountains. But me and my contender are headed to Key West and we are about to let loose Wahoo and mutton snapper and deep dropping and exploring. Y'all, thanks for watching this video though. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. Right now, like Jake always says though, and he's too far away and his hands are too dirty, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See ya.